Hello and welcome to the Kevin T channel. Well, tonight I will do a video and so forth, another gun video. It's uh, one we've seen before, but it was in vertical mode. This one, I got some people telling me, don't shoot vertical, only shoot horizontal, widescreen. Ah, uh, yes, the old, good old widescreen. So I've been trying to do that and such, shoot widescreen and whatnot. So I figured I'd take this time to redo the Beretta P4 video. It's loaded with dummy rounds, so there's nothing there. And we'll check the slide here. Whoop! Dummy round went on the daggum floor. That's it. Dummy round went onto the floor. All right, so this is our Beretta PX4 nine millimeter. Nothing in the magazine, nothing in the area where the magazine would actually go. Nothing in the hole, <laughs> the ejection port. Uh, I'm so tired that I'm making up new areas for different things. And this is a nine mil Beretta. And let's take a look inside, shall we? There's this. There's two little notches here and on the other side. I'm going to pull down those. If I can get this right. Ah! Jackpot! And we have the inner guts of it. I'm going to slightly pull off the spring. You have the spring right here. It's into two pieces. And then I seriously need to rewipe this down. Thought I did that last time. Apparently not. Or I just put it back together and totally forgot. But you can never have too much oil on your gun. Well, in this case, excess. And this would be the barrel. Small tube. And so forth. Not too much to it. Rifled and barreled. And of course, this is the slide mechanism. Comes back on the recoil, everything else. Slide that back in there, like so. Make sure it's in where it's supposed to be. And then we have the spring, which I'm trying to do this one-handed. <laughs> Don't think that's plausible with a Beretta Storm. If it is possible to put this together one-handed, feel free to comment. I'd like to see someone try it. Your safeties are right here. Ambidextrous. Your sights are here and here. Little white dots and so forth. Ejection port right here. It ejects the uh, shell casing. It actually goes downward instead of up. Uh, like most uh, semi-automatics do with the slide, they'll actually go up. But this actually ejects downward, which I actually like. Because it actually is better that way. And then you have the actual shell of it. This whole entire area here is plastic. Whereas the guts of this thing is actually metal. The hammer right here... To hit the firing pin with and the trigger mechanism and I'm not sure if this is actually doable but I'm gonna pull it anyhow and that just pulls it back no biggie um, not too much I mean you could have an ambidextrous safe uh, ejection clip area which the magazine ejection port is right here but other than that, nothing to it. And then it just slides back on like this. And voila. Safety on. Off. I mean, safety on. Safety on. No biggie. Of course, there's nothing in the chamber. As always, because I've got the magazine right here. It's got dummy rounds in it, 
So I can easily fire it if need be for practice fire, dry fire routines. Slide this in and you can see it go right into the ejection port. And then you just slide that forward and it goes right in. The hammer is already back, so it's ready to fire. When you're ready to fire, you pull this trigger. And thus, the hammer goes down, hits the firing pin. The firing pin hits the primer. The primer hits the uh, gunpowder. The gunpowder shoots the bullet out this end. Not this end, this end. Hmm. So, that is basically the Beretta PX4. And it also has a safety decocker. So if I put it in safety mode, it automatically decocks it. So I can pull this trigger as much as I want, and it will not fire the round inside the chamber. Turn the safety off. I can pull back on it. And still lock it back into place if I wanted to, or I can just fire normally by pulling the trigger. It's dummy round, so it ain't gonna fire fire. This is a dry fire. And like most PX4, it actually tells you right here, you can't really see it. I'll see if I can tilt it this way and tilt my head <laughs> away from the barrel, even though it's got a dummy round in it. Uh, it actually tells you that there's a round in the chamber. So that's it for the PX4 widescreen model. So tune in later where we discuss, or at some point I will actually fire this on a firing range and we'll see how it does on the firing range. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Remember, always keep your finger off the trigger, make sure your safety's on, and no round in the chamber when carrying, unless you just want to carry with a round and chamber. I don't like doing it because it's too risky. Uh, always afraid I might, you know, accidentally send off a bullet in your leg somewhere. <laughs> then it'd just be blood and gore. And, eh, no. <laughs> but yeah, um, my rule of thumb is if there's a firefight, duck, cover it, then draw, then rack, then call 911 and get permission to fire if fired upon. Thank you for watching and please remember, be safe. Never point at something you don't intend to fire at. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.